seems pretty lively over there. What's the occasion? There's supposed to be some kind of cooking contest. Maybe they're preparing for it. Ha uh ha -huh. Someone say cooking contest? You think they'd let me participate? Huh? I didn't know you cooked lambs. Me? Nah. I'm all about the eating. Think of all that grub! Ah, oh, maybe I should join too. Hey there, folks. Travis, Monica, we just heard about this cooking contest. Yeah, it's kind of a tradition around here. You know how the world is. Can't set foot outside without putting yourself in danger. People are going stir-crazy, all shut up with nowhere to go. They need a bit of light entertainment to diffuse some of that stress. So these contests are kind of a regular thing. This seems like the perfect opportunity for you to join in. To sample the food? Ah, I'm afraid the judges are selected by majority vote. They've already been decided well in advance. That said, the winning dishes do get shared among the audience. So you'd like us to join as chefs? Yeah, this event's pretty much made for Manana. Word! C could I... Could I join as well? I like your spirit. You're both very welcome. Looks like you'll have your work cut out for you, eh, boss? You said it, Travis. I'll let you prepare the Lucky Spice. Oh, crap. Not that stuff. There are no binding rules, no themes to follow. You're free to make whatever you like. But you are expected to bring your own ingredients. Once you have them, take them to Michiba at her canteen. She'll hold on to them for you. Hearing loud and clear. I'll see you at the contest then. Looking forward to it. Banana not pull punches. We rivals now, Miss Miyabi. Yes, let's do this. Since when did you learn to cook, Miyabi? You never told me. <laughs> I've only dabbled, really. Right. We'd better go out looking for our ingredients, eh? Hold on. We haven't even decided what we're going to make yet. Ah, uh -huh. just testing it. Before we decide, maybe we should ask around the city first. See what kind of foods they like. Their favorite seasonings. That should give us enough to make a start on. True. We need some kind of direction to start with before we can think about making anything. Something on your mind, Mia? I was just thinking. It's unusual for me, Abby, to voice her interest in something like this. Before, she'd always tried to avoid anything that involved competition. So this is... kind of a surprise. Ha, huh, I see. Well, all the more reason for us to cheer her on. Yeah. All right, asking time. Uh, who do we ask? Hmm. Someone who catches our eye?
find out something from May. She gave me a nipple dipped in chocolate sauce the other day. Would I get all wrinkly someday? <laughs> Imagine an old uni or old me Abby. She won the contest before. I'm starving. Got anything I can eat? Um, about that thing.
Okay, time to go, guys. Fatal fight! Get out of here! Iron! I can't 
This is what we're made for. Yeah. found this. That's making me hungry. That's the last of Manana's ingredients. Many thankings! Friends did bang-up job! Now for Miyabi's. That's it. 
Thanks again. We should talk to people in the city to see if anyone can give us the Soy Primo sauce. I have to say, I'm getting a little psyched for this. <laughs> Me too. You're with your friends today. Yes. Sorry if we're bothering you. Not at all. Not at all. Always nice to see you. So what brings you here? Actually, I've decided to enter the cooking contest. Oh, really? I'd like it if you came. I'm going to try as hard as I can. Sweetie, I would love to. I'll be cheering you on all the way. There's one other thing. I have a request. If it's not too much trouble... Tell me. Anything I can do to help. Would you mind sharing some of your Soy Primo sauce? Your homemade recipe? My sauce is going to feature. This just keeps getting better and better. Please, take as much as you need. I'm sure it'll be enough. But if by any chance you run out, just swing by again. Romero absolutely loves that sauce. I've got jars full of the stuff. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're getting awfully worked up about all this. Just relax and enjoy the experience. Yes, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> now, what did I just say? <laughs> huh. Would you believe it? That's making me hungry. That's all of the ingredients for the both of them. Tippy toppy job! Got everything you need now? Then I think it's about time to start the contest. Is everyone ready? Looks like both the chefs and the judges are ready. Well, ladies and gents, it's time to start another annual cook-off. And who else to narrate the events as they unfold but the city's number one charmer? Just kidding, it's me, Travis, your ever-affable lost numbers lieutenant. Let's start by introducing our expert panel of judges. The lucky four adjudicators for this year's incredible turnout are... Drum roll, please. Gondor! You've been begging to be a judge for ages now. Looks like it's your lucky day. Oi! Don't you bloody patronise me. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face if you're not careful. Ahem. <clears throat> Moving swiftly on. You fancy yourself an avid foodie? Well, let's see how you measure up to the wise and erudite well well. Next up, a lover of music and all things lyrical, it's Mr. Boomer. He's got a refined palate for music and food, and I'm sure he's about to give us a piece of his mind. Last but not least, we have our youngest judge on record. Introducing San. As far as I can tell, he just plain enjoys food. He'll eat whatever you can throw at him. <laughs> yeah, give me all your food. We want you four to judge the meals on their own merits as honestly as possible. Now, let's introduce our chefs. First up's our Lost Numbers ace cook, Nisik. So, how are you feeling? Think you've got the potential to be numero uno? <laughs> Watch it, you. No intimidating the judges. You're gonna scare the kid. 
You want to settle the score, you do it with food. Calm and peaceful like. Next up, it's our very own boss. Or should that be Elder? Uh, oh, uh, let's just say uh, Madam Monica. Just stick to the usual. Who's next? All right, boss it is. Next, we have Uro Boris's very own queen of cuisine, Manana. Manana ready to steal away hearts and stomachs of all. And whispers on the grapevine tell me our last contestant is a rising star. She's everyone's sweetheart, Miss Miyabi. You go, girl. <gasps> And those are our four entrants for today. Shall we get started? Then, Nisik, if you'd like to reveal the meal. Feast your eyes on this. So cool. Well, well, well. Applying heat cause emergence of emerald green undertones. Shell gradually translucent as it shine with beryl blade. Is this thing edible? Mmm. <sighs> hey, this is pretty tasty and juicy. Contrary to expectation, taste pop and lock inside mouth. Big bang of umami fill entire taste buds. <laughs> hey, how are you supposed to eat this? I don't get it. Maybe Nisik would be kind enough to assist. I beg your pardon. Let's check in with our next culinary combatant. It's our very own boss. I'll find a chink in your armor. My dish is the Monicurry Special. Oh, come on! How's that bear? Oh, it's got tasty sausages in it. Well, well, well. Well, well, only heard rumors, but Monicurry said to be legendary meal among lost numbers. I'll have me some of that. Queen, you got the spice in a spot on. <laughs> These vegetables, flavor normally distinctive yet subtly veiled here, and spiciness perfectly compensate. But despite this, single plate appear positively heaped with nutrition. Is dish spice-renowned or something deeper? Uh, it's making my tongue all prickly. <laughs> Oops. Guess the kids' taste buds weren't quite prepared for that just yet. <laughs> Funny. Everyone normally loves the stuff. Did I add too much lucky spice? I'm sure your bellies are gradually getting rounder, but there's plenty more where that came from. The next contender is... Manana! Finally! Time for big moment! Delicious dish of Manana is... Secret recipe of Nopon, passed down in greatest of stealthy... Or rather, little spin on traditional version... Doodle Noodles! Manana style! Prepare for taste beyond taste! That looks yummy! This is gonna be awesome! Wow! That's gonna be a banger! Tears of well well might form small pool. To think Nopon exist that could recreate recipe of legend! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Give me more of this meat! More! More! Well, well, never dream of chance to eat 
perfect doodle noodles in lifetime. Taste is beyond compare. Such level of extravagant. Well, well, good, well, rocket into skies above. How the crap is this so good? I don't know what to say. Oh, the competition's fierce, but we've got one more dish lined up for you all. Take it away, Miyabi. Okay. Here's the meal I'll be presenting today. Oh. Oh, it doesn't look very special. I guess when you put it alongside the others, yeah. But it clearly made with love. Preparation of dish reflect nature of chef. And this, no exception. Ah, oh, it feels... How should I put it? Comforting. Mm, so understated, yet so palatable. Hard to express in words. Like warmth filling entire body. I eat this fish all the time. But I don't think it's ever been this tasty before. Gosh, I wonder how she prepared it. I'd love to know. Same. Where do we go and ask her once the contest's over? May, you have the best ideas. Now that looks scrumptious. They look like they're loving the soy primo sauce too. Now, I hate to break it to you folks, but it's time for the judges to make their decision. Which of these four outstanding meals has satisfied their stomachs? I'm sure you're all on the edge of your seats. The winner of this year's cooking contest is... Congratulations, Manana. <laughs> Feels good at the top. Better luck next time, Yabby. Thanks, everyone. You all helped me so much. I didn't make first place, but I'm glad everyone got the chance to try my food. Manana was kind enough to raise the idea. Thank you, Manana. Huh? Not to mention. It would be a terrible shame for friends to miss out on delicious nom-noms of me, Abby. Nisik looks in a right mood. I can hear you. Can't let him get away with this, though, can we? We'll lend you a hand next time. Hmm. How'd you like the Monica curry, Gondor? as you always make it. The name's dumb, though. Can you come up with something better? You say that every time. I don't see the problem, personally. I actually kind of like it. I'm not asking your opinion. I'm saying it's freaking embarrassing. I've still got some left, by the way. You want a bowl or not? Don't change the subject. And of course I want a bowl. Contest was so much fun. Maximum agree. Plus was big learning experience. Can see Manana need to greatly expand repertoire. Ah, if that's your plan, would you mind teaching me some more about cooking? Mama? 
even though me Abby already plenty good at cooking. Oh, I'm honored that you'd say so. But I really don't have a lot of experience. I'd love it if you could teach me some more. Ah, then let me Nana pick up what me Abby putting down. Me Abby asking to become apprentice of Manana? That's right. If it's not a problem. No problem. Manana, welcome with open wings. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Manana. Ha! Huh. Before Manana forget, I should snaffle up recipes of Monica and Nisik while still have chance. Oh, good idea. Let's do that. Hey, Miabi. You did great there. Your food was amazing. Yeah. I said before that I did this for the city. Of course, they were the highest priority in my mind. But really, it was for the both of you. I so wanted you to try it. It was for us? This world, it's filled with nothing but tragedy and hardship for us. But now, after coming here, that feels like a distant dream. Yeah, that's right. You've always kept my wishes in your heart, haven't you? That's why you brought me here, right? Because we're alive. We get to see these sights. Thank you. <sighs> no, Miyabi. Thank you. Would you believe it? <laughs>